What happens when our digital worlds are indistinguishable from the world itself? Experimenting with reality is something that humans have always loved to do. Not just psychedelics, technology was part of that too. Stereoscopes and flight simulators, head-mounted displays and 3D video games. For the longest time, technology has been used to change our point of view. In the early 90s, there was a virtual reality boom. But despite the hype and the movies, VR fell into disrepute. Two decades later, it took a kid in a trailer with some smartphones and second-hand parts to give the industry a reboot. 2019 was already a turning point. But the 2020 pandemic gave things a final push. People locked inside with nothing to do. Now add cheap computation, edge AI, 5G, and suddenly the dream of XR is about to come true. XR, or extended reality, can mean VR, AR, or MR. So virtual reality places you in an entirely simulated world. Augmented reality places a digital overlay on what you can see. Mixed reality is like AR, but also enables placement of objects in 3D. These objects are aware of what's in your field of view. They can hide behind things. They can interact with their environment, not just with you. Imagine what might get done when the virtual world is indistinguishable from the real one. Virtual open houses will not only allow you to remotely view, you'll be able to see them with your own furniture too. Your future clothes will be digital CAD files that will automatically adjust for size and fit. Your next self-driving car can be personalized even when you're virtually sitting in it. Forget Zoom. What about meetings when you can't tell who's actually there or who's joining via AR? Or immersive games that incorporate what you're doing and where you are? Now the race begins to design devices that can open doors to these other worlds. Facebook's Oculus Quest showed what was possible even without a PC. And soon, Apple's rumored device may completely transform how we see. And then there's Magic Leap, Microsoft HoloLens, Valve Index and HTC Vive. And soon, a new Sony VR headset that will leverage the PlayStation 5. But the real game changer may be the Qualcomm XR2. Not a device, but a platform that unifies AI and 5G. And in doing so, completely transform what device manufacturers can do. Now add to that, haptic gloves that allow you to feel objects in a virtual world, smart suits that are like a second skin, face sensors, connected shoes, digital treadmills. In the near future, we will all be jacked in. Getting the tech right is just the start of the race. Next up are three difficult questions that we soon will all need to face. Number one, how do you design and create experiences in XR? Creating XR experiences is not like coding a game, building a store or making an app. Users have agency. You have to design for the decisions they make and how they react. An XR design team may need people from a range of disparate fields who can understand sound and animation to fashion and taste to theatre and improv, to architecture, physics and space. Experiences are part what you see and part what you hear. So programmers are not enough. We need reality engineers. Number two. What happens when data becomes another sense? Every object, person and idea in the world is already surrounded by a layer of data that describes what it is, what it has been, and what it might be. So what happens when that data becomes something that we can also see? What if a doctor could look at a patient and see their biological systems working in sync? Or a flight engineer being able to monitor and optimize a jet engine via uplink? Technicians in factories working on digital twins? Or supply chain analysts tracking shipments coming in? Just like geese that can use the magnetic sphere of the Earth to know where to go, soon we will also perceive data and use it to change what we know. 
Number three, what is possible now that wasn't possible before? You see, when a technology is new, imagination is the limit to what can be done. I mean, there must be more to AR than simply using it to catch Pokemon. Real progress happens when we can see past the obvious to think in ways not possible before. The telescope, the printing press, the telegraph and the internet, in the end, they all reshape society to the core. Why have virtual files and folders in XR? Why not data sculptures and dynamic flows? What if we could perceive data the way a synesthesiac can hear colour and see sound? Now is the time for new metaphors. We're at the dawn of a new age. Reality as we know it is about to change. XR is more than a novelty or a high-tech device for us to wear. What if the real world was just a low-res version of what was already there?